These are the dragons. Five multimillionaire investors on their way to the den. There, they will once again make or break the business dreams of dozens of budding entrepreneurs. Welcome to the Dragon's Den, where once again, cash-hungry entrepreneurs are preparing to face the fearsome dragons, all hoping to convince them that their business ideas are worth millions. Hello, I'm Peter Savage and I'm presenting Azul Finance. We are a specialist uh, broadcast finance company. We finance the likes of camera acquisition equipment, editing equipment, post-production and uh, transmission. I set up uh, 20 years ago a business called Fine Line Media Finance. Uh, that was in 1988. We grew that and by 1998 we were the, the, the biggest independent in the broadcast market in the UK. We managed to sell the business then uh, to the Five Arrows Leasing Group which is part of the Rothschilds Banking Group and at the end of five years I sat down and had two thoughts really. One was did I want to carry on being in that corporate closeted environment for another 25 years and secondly I also thought that we lost some of our key values that we weren't actually talking to enough customers going out there and delivering a, a really top-end service so I took the plunge, took the year out and in 2004 set up uh, Azul. As you can see from the chart here our performance I believe has been unparalleled uh, in the industry. We've had four to five years continued growth with a profit line following almost exactly the growth in turnover. So how will our first entrepreneur cope under the dragon scrutiny? Can you just run those numbers by me again? Yeah, certainly. If you take, take the chart that I've shown you, um, I believe that our performance is, is unparalleled to anyone else in the market. Our turnover has grown consistently up to now 25 million a year and our profit has grown in the same fashion and is now about £350,000 uh, after tax and I believe that to be probably the best, well it is the best performance in the industry at the moment. What is different about what you're doing? Well we do um, exactly what it says on the side of the tin. We're a specialist finance company and we do, we do very good deals for our customers and we do this in a number of ways. Firstly uh, we have a universal document that allows us to fund with 10 different clearing banks. These are all high street names um, and that allows us to use their different underwritings, their different levels of credit and we can package it all under one document so the customer gets one, one single document that finances their, their whole deal. Combined also with the fact that we also lend our own money. So this also puts into uh, a whole new element where we can finance deals that no other finance company will touch. And a lot of people will go, whoa, isn't that a bit risky? Well, risk is, is a thing that you mitigate. Are you, a bit, are you a bit nervous? Yeah, it does make us feel nervous sometimes, but with that nervousness, we're more focused. We run our audits. We, we look at the payment profiles and the payment histories of these customers far stronger than any normal finance company would do. So we don't have a huge financial institution behind us. So we are a small, compact unit and we don't earn money unless we get our dealers to sell equipment. And that gives us, I think, that extra drive, that extra purpose that, you know, guys sitting in with their big fat salaries just don't have. If I give you £50,000 of my hard-earned cash, um, what do I get back? If you gave me 50,000 of your hard-earned money, we would use that to help to develop our, our lending portfolio. We raise money in effectively three different ways. We raise money from the high street banks, the HSBCs, TSBs, INGs, people like that. We put money in ourselves and a large majority of the capital has been put in by ourselves, which we believe is a wholehearted commitment to the business. And third, we have a number of uh, wealthy entrepreneurs, uh, a bit like yourselves. How long have you been doing this for? Well, I think, it, yeah, it's almost exactly 20 years to the day almost. Uh, and why do the dealers come back to us? Well, I think it's a, a combination of trust, market knowledge and the ability to us to almost go native and become one of the uh, dealers' salespeople. 
you've made a good presentation. I also think you've hit on a quite an opportunity and I'm going to make you an offer. And that's for two reasons. You're very good. You've got a good idea here. So I'm very impressed with the whole package. See, I think you've got tremendous product. And if all the answers that you've given me are correct and I have no reason whatsoever to doubt you, then you have a winner in your hands. It looks, the outset, fantastic.